hey, I'm not going to lie. I liked that John Waite uh, uh, Babies video on the Rays so much. Um, I got another one for you. <laughs> this is Every Time I Think of You. Um, it's on the Rays show, which is a TV show in uh, Vancouver. And um, the clip that I've got here, I'm going to break it in pieces. So I think what we've got here is a second song. The song's called Every Time I Think of You. I already, uh, What I'm referring to is I already did the song um, uh, Head First. And this is the song uh, Every Time I Think of You. And I believe this is from the show in 1979. So let's take a look. Every time I think of you It always turns out good Every time I've held you I thought you understood People say Yeah, this is the same So this is 1979 This is the same set As the uh, Head First song that I did That's over on the left Is Jonathan Cain Who was with the Babies And then Bad English With um, With John Waite Who's the lead singer there and then um, John Waite did a solo, had a solo career, and Jonathan Cain replaced uh, Greg Raleigh in Journey. So uh, this is a great song. He's got an incredible voice, and uh, it's a ballad, so it's a little, da- you know, not not as upbeat, but it's a very cool song. So let's take let's take a look. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit because I interrupted. But you understood. People say a love like ours will surely pass But I know a love like ours will last and last But maybe I was wrong not knowing how our love should go I don't know who the girl is, but she's got a big ass tambourine. <laughs> it's that's the biggest tambourine I've ever seen. <laughs> well, that's cool. I gotta say one more thing. It was a huge deal in 1979 to see someone like this on television. Um, a, a man who has feminine features, wearing two earrings, um, 
it just didn't exist in 1979. It's so crazy that 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 was the case. But um, you know, David Bowie was very um, what you might consider androgynous. Um, this John Waite has that kind of a haircut, kind of style, um, the earrings. He got much more feminine um, as the years went on too. No, uh, just a commentary, not a uh, not not derogatory in any way. Just a commentary. When um, MTV came out in 1981, I would say sometime in the first 12 months. I don't know exactly where, but maybe the first 12 to 16 months, um, there was videos of Culture Club with Boy George. And it was to American everyday households. It, Boy George was just confusing to, to people to try to understand what in the world was going on. There was very few people that um, um, were publicly gay or uh, cross-dressing or wearing men wearing makeup or... Um, earrings or any of that. It was just a really, really foreign thing that um, uh, 1979, this is a, this is a big deal. So um, whether you would think that people, you know, that this, that someone like this is ahead of his time, um, exploring what, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the right thing to say or the wrong thing to say. Just, I know this was a really, um, uh, kind of a surprising, almost shocking thing that you would see a man wearing an earring or two earrings on a television show. It just didn't exist. So it's cool to be able to see this um, uh, captured from 1979. But I know Now that was cool. I really liked that song, and it was a huge song for them. Um, <clears throat> let me know if you know this song. Did you did you uh, did you ever listen to the Babies or uh, Bad English or Journey? Uh, did you ever see this show, the the Rays? I've got another one coming up for you too, from uh, the Rays TV show as well. So uh, let me know if you like it, and uh, leave your comments. I appreciate them.